everyone, it's Anna, and today I want to talk about color balancing your images in Photoshop. Now, I know a lot of you are new to Photoshop, and maybe you're not quite sure where to start with color balance. You can look at your image and know that it's a little bit off, but you're not sure exactly how to change it in Photoshop. So, there are a lot of different methods for doing this, but today I'm going to show you two of the most um, quick and straightforward methods for correcting the overall color balance of your image using the color balance adjustment panel as well as the curves adjustment panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer and now I'm going to create a color balance adjustment layer by clicking this icon here to create a new fill or adjustment layer and I'm going to select color balance. Now in the color balance panel, beside the word tone, you'll see that you have a drop down menu that lets you adjust the color balances within the shadows, midtones, and highlights region. Now a lot of color balance has to do with analyzing your original image. So when I look at this image, I can see that the shadows have a lot of blue in them. That's probably the area that stands out the most to me when I look at this image that needs adjusting first. So what I'm going to do is select the drop down menu and go with shadows. And this is only going to affect the shadow regions of my image. It's not going to affect the highlights, the whites, or the midtones in the image, just the shadow regions. So since my shadows are blue, they have a blue tint to them. I want to make them warmer, so I'm going to move the bottom slider here towards yellow. And you can see it's already making a change to the shadow portions of the image. So if I wanted to go really warm, I would go really, really yellow here, but I don't want it to be that warm. I just want to warm up the shadows just a touch. So I'm going to stop at about minus 25 on the yellow here. I also want to work with uh, the shadows just a little bit more to add a little bit of red to them. And since red is the opposite of cyan, that's going to help warm up the shadows even more. So I'm just going to do this ever so slightly. I don't want to add too much red to their skin tones. So plus 12 looks good at that point. So now if I turn off my color balance layer, you can see what a difference the color balance made. So this is my original image, and this is the image with my color balance layer turned on. So as you can see, it was just two clicks and a simple fix for the color balance. The next method that I'm going to use for color balance is going to be the curves adjustment panel. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete my color balance layer here and go back to my original image on my duplicated background copy. And at this point, I'm going to create another layer just like I did last time, except this time I'm going to select curves instead of color balance. And at this point, you will see that you have a histogram come up and this is your main histogram for your highlight shadows and midtone regions in your image. Now since we're working with individual color channels here, I'm going to select the drop down menu where it says RGB and I'm going to work in the blue channel again since the dominant color in this image is kind of a blue cyan color. So at this point, you will see a blue histogram here because we are working within the blue channel. And if I click the center point of the histogram, I can either pull the line down towards the bottom right to warm up the image, or if this image were too warm and I wanted to make it cooler, I would pull up towards the top left. So anytime that you are editing within a color channel, if you pull down towards the right, it removes the color of the channel that you are operating within. So since we are in the blue channel and I'm pulling down towards the bottom right, it's removing blue from my image. So for this adjustment, just a small 
pull from the center of the image down towards the bottom right will remove some of the blue tones from the shadows. So now that I've made the curves adjustment to the blue channel, I'll show you the before and after results of what the image originally looked like compared to our edit. So this is the original image and you can see it has just kind of an overall blue haze to it and a blue tint in the shadow regions. And then with our curves adjustment layer, it's much warmer overall and the shadows have just a balanced neutral tone to them. So just to briefly recap the two color balance methods that we've used on this image um, are our color balance adjustment layer in which we worked with the sh uh, shadow regions because we found that this image was had an overall blue tint to it in the shadows. So we pulled towards yellow, which is the opposite of blue, and yellow cancels out blue. So we're adding some yellow to the shadows. We also added just a little bit of red, which moves away from cyan, which is a cool color. And red helps uh, warm up the shadows, especially in the girl's skin tones. And then we also use the curves adjustment layer, working in the blue channel and pulling the blue line towards the bottom right.